iterate, we've got something called a user interface. So we're going to create an object called UI, which is user interface. And you're going to see how that's important in a second. I also talked about the fact that there's a server, right, which does something with what comes from the user interface and sticks uh, and sticks an output back on the user interface. So we're going to create another object called server. And when we pull it all together, we run this function, shiny app, UI for user interface equals the UI, the object that we created, and server equals server. You run that and your and everything works. Happy days, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So now you see the overall structure. Let's look at each of these components one at a time, and you'll see this isn't difficult to do, and it's actually a, a really lot of fun. And when you see it do what you think it's supposed to do, it's quite satisfying. So let's jump right in. Okay, as you make your very first shiny app, uh, everything is new, right? So you're gonna be learning new functions, new words, that's fine. My suggestion is keep it simple, right? So um, for example, for our user interface, we're starting off with this new function that's called fluid page. Basically what that means is it's gonna create a web page which dynamically changes uh, if you change it. So let me show you here, everything is dynamic, it's fluid. If I move that, everything pops around. So it's fluid page, but obviously there are other configurations you can put in there and we're not going to get into that in this lesson i'm wanting you to understand the underlying principles and why it, you know what's sitting where so fluid page that's the kind of page we're setting up in this case then we're going to have title pa panel right so on our page we're going to have panels the first is title panel and we've said old uh, faithful giza data and you can see in the rendered uh, document in the rendered uh, version of this it sits there so happy days uncomfortable